Congrats, man. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, wasn't any secret that you kind of outplayed that other contract, right? But um, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, was this a, a surprise at all, or did you have a feeling that they were working on something? For you? Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, you know, I hate to lie to you, Stephen, sometimes, but uh, yeah, it was it was something that we, you know, we had. Oh, you want to go to mommy? Okay, you're done with me. All right, that's fine. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, it was something that uh, we have been working on um, pretty much since uh, November. Um, just kind of talking through. Um, at, I'm bringing, at the last season, I kind of, uh, you know, approached them like, hey, you know, something ain't right. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, definitely credits to uh, Chris, uh, Mike Bloom, and, you know, the Ursays and everybody involved pretty much to just handle it. You know, I felt like we all just handled it like professionals, didn't let you know, anything get too personal, didn't really, you know, let anything pretty much get it. I was able to handle everything just straightforward. So, you know, I think, you know, while it was tough at times, but I think the process went about as good as we thought it could. You're signing so many of you guys back right now. What does it kind of do for you guys? I don't, just the culture, the vibe here when it's laid out like this, where there, there are rewards for the things you do on the field. Man, I mean, I mean, I remember, you know, as a young guy, um, I remember, uh, being with Kenny uh, when he got his first one. Um, he lived down the street from me at the time. He had the basketball court in the neighborhood, so everybody was over there at his house all the time. Um, and, you know, I remember just thinking, like, you know, just thinking about his journey, um, just undrafted and, you know, two great years and what he was able to get from that. It, it motivated me and just let me know, okay, there's a path for me to be, you know, rewarded and reach success and be valued in this league for, you know, um, the things I was doing on the field. I just pretty much had to take care of my part. Um, and I think, you know, just, you know, from my story to Talu to Grove and, you know, so on and so forth, I think it's just a message ringing out, you know, throughout the organization that, you know, they take care of the guys that uh, perform here and, you know, as long as you contribute in the winning. So how many of you now have, like, grown up in this organization, man? I mean, just how unique is that in this league and to stay in one place? You know, this is the week where everybody's all over the place, right? I mean, mm -hmm. this, is your, are your journeys kind of unique, do you feel like? A hundred percent, you know, to be able to, you know, now going into my seventh year with one team, that's rare. Um, you know, not many guys, you know, that you meet throughout the league, you know, have played for that long for one team. Um, and now, you know, to be able to share that experience with uh, EJ, with uh, Kenny, Grove, Buck, um, you know, it just it means a lot. Um, so, you know, but I think at this point now, you know, accolades aside, money aside, now it's time for us to put some Put some banners up now. It's time for us to accomplish something. We got to leave here with something other than good memories. That's what I was wondering. Again, they take care of their own when you guys show that you deserve it all that. But does it also show that they think you guys are, are that close to being what you need to be? I mean, no question. You know, no question. I mean, I, I, you know, I understand, uh, you know, sometimes uh, re-signing your own isn't as sexy as people would want it to be. Uh, but... If you look at it objectively, um, you'll see, you know, Kenny's the best nickel in the NFL, period. You know, Grover, you know, if not the best, one of the top nose tackles in the league. You know, Pittman, top number one receivers in the league, like, you know, obviously myself included. So, you know, it's like these are top players uh, together. Um, and I think it means a lot, you know, for us to, you know, maintain and to keep that in-house. But like you said, that being said, you know, it's time for us to go get it now. Um, you know, we all the other stuff aside, um, what's most important is, you know, how you left, and you left by wins and losses. So that's what matters. You kind of hinted at this at the start, but the extension was just you want to be paid like a top five linebacker versus when you signed, it was more special teams. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, as thankful as I am for how it's all went, now I just feel like I'm finally being paid for the job that I've already been doing. So um, it's just got to continue to raise that level and continue to, you know, move that forward. Now how close you guys get as defensive players? Just what's it like to see your friends get signed back here and like you don't have to get new ones? <laughs> don't have to get new ones. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it's always good, man. You know, we, we got a good rotation going on, you know, on the aux in the locker room that doesn't have to be adjusted now. 
You know, me, Talu, Grove, Kenny, we all got we got a good rhythm. You know, you take one person out, you add somebody else so that they might mess up the flow and the rhythm to all that. You know, now EJ put his hat in too, so it's a lot going on out there. But you know, thankfully, uh, you know, we able to keep keep the same thing going. So. One earn a spot in the Ox rotation. Ooh, ooh. Honestly, first of all, you you, you got to take advantage of your opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So when you get a chance, don't miss. You know what I mean? Then, you know, we might just forget you on there and leave you on there. And then, you know, we got to see, uh, you know, consistency, um, you know, breeds confidence. Yeah. Why, why do you think it means so much to guys to stay with one team in the league? I mean, it's just tough. You know, you get in the NFL and, you know, you know, I know guys that, you know, that's played for three, four teams in one year. You know, what that does to, you know, your psyche, your family, um, you know, just your sense of security. Um, you know, I think it allows you to – I feel like everybody in the NFL is talented and good enough to make plays in this league. I think uh, the guys who um, – you know, are able to, you know, really move that forward are the guys that are comfortable enough to be able to be themselves. And for a lot of guys, I think that, you know, that, you know, belief that the, the organization believes in you and they want you there and they're willing to let you grow through, you know, whatever small mistakes or different difficulties you go to, I think that allows a lot of guys to grow. And I think you see that in, you know, a lot of the guys that, you know, resigned or guys whose careers have just continued to catapult, you know, the further they get into this. Is because sometimes you got to believe in your players to get the best out of them. There, if you play this out, it'll be close to a decade here. 2018, you would he have believed that was one? No, he would not have. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't know where Indianapolis was on the map when I got drafted. Uh, don't blame me. Blame Philadelphia Public Schools. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know what I will say is um, I've truly loved my time here in Indy. Um, it's been home for me. Um, being a cold is something that I, you know, I take with pride, um, and I'm and I'm proud to wear it on my sleeve. Um, you know, um, from the fans to the organizations to the Ursays and everything in between. Um, you know, I just want to dedicate myself to the organization as much as it dedicates to me. I want to dedicate myself to the city as much as it dedicates to me. So, I look forward to you know continue to uh, force cheese takes upon you guys and and talk a lot of trash to the opposing teams. <laughs> A lot of you guys have resigned, obviously, just like a year or so ago. It was kind of rocky here. So, mm -hmm. what does it say to what Shane has built in his time here that all so many of you guys are back? I mean, he's just a culture setter. He's a true leader of men. Um, he understands ball. He understands people. And I think you could just see it through all the different highs and lows that we had to battle through this season to put us in a position where we were about 20 yards away from a division championship. Uh, I think that gives confidence to make us want to run that back and see, you know, how far we could really take it. So, um, you know, thankful that we got a guy like Shane at the helm, you know, leading us, uh, you know, listening to us in the in the fire with us, um, and he's continue to push us, hold us accountable, and get the best out of us in every uh, facet of the, of the game. It's obviously a big moment. It's obviously a, a big moment for you. But you've been that seventh round pick trying to make the team. So. I guess, how does kind of your journey at this point, how does that help you just as a leader that can reach those guys who are, you know, getting drafted this year or whatever, and that better the spot you were when you got here? Oh, man. Um, so uh, the day I agreed, uh, well, we agreed Sunday night, but when, you know, it hit, I was, I was already planning on being in Indianapolis. So, you know, I was in the weight room getting a workout, and the best way I know how to celebrate, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, I saw Dallas. And uh, obviously Dallas is a you know a talented young player going through his own situation right now, and I just told him I'm like, look, when when you get to where I'm at, they forget they ever looked at you when you was at where you at right now. You know I've been in that situation. I've been in a situation where, you know, I told him it's people are uh, giving you answers to questions that you never asked. Um, you know you know who you are as a player. You trust and believe who you want to be in this league, and don't take any other answer for. For uh, you know, don't don't believe any other answer that they give you. Um, so, you know, I would just tell all the you know the seventh round guys, undrafted, you know, from day one to day three and everything else in between, um, just to believe in yourself. Like I said, know who you want to be in this league and and, and make the decisions that's going to lead you towards that. And, you know, keep God first, and you'll get everything you need out of the situation. You mentioned last year that you kind of seen outside expectations run the gamut, you know, over your time here, but. Internally, what are the expectations like after coming so close to a division title last 
I mean, I guess the expectation has to be a division title, period.